we chose to respond to Shannon Craig of Snell's article on Buffy. First, Britlin will talk about sex and violence as related to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Second, Holly will discuss Buffy and feminism. And third, Simone will talk about the argument between what would Jesus do versus what would Buffy do. Over to you, Britlin. Thank you, Bailey, for that kind introduction. So a point I want to discuss from Shannon's article is how she sees violence and sex being portrayed throughout Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And she gives us four examples where violence can be found in the show. Buffy's violence tends to be both personal and physically intimate. Buffy's physical violence is combined with verbal violence. Buffy is violent within feminine trappings. Some examples of that is you'll see her in high heels, mini skirt, she'll have her nails done, very feminine. And the last one that I mainly want to focus on is how violence is linked to sex in the show. And there's two examples that Shannon gives us from the show that portray sex and violence being linked together. The first one is in the first five seasons, some of the characters in the series enjoy sexual violence in the sense of giving and receiving pain. And Buffy herself um, is found in a sexually violent relationship. The second example is from a character, Faith. She also finds violence sexy using similar words, motions, and sounds to describe sex and slaying a vampire. And that shows how violence can be used both physically and verbally, as Shannon noted before. And I think this is good insight that Shannon has from um, the show that she writes in her article. And I would say that I agree with these examples that Shannon presents. And I think that Buffy is a good example of an empowered woman throughout her role on the show. So back to you, Bailey. Interesting points, Britlin. Holly, what do you have to say about Thank you, Bailey, for the introduction. I'm going to be talking about the topic of feminism in the article. So in the article, Shannon makes some great points about the link between Buffy and feminism. For example, when she discusses Buffy being as physically strong as a man, but also maintaining feminine qualities. Here is the example from the article. One of the ways the series combats sexist gender roles is by portraying Buffy as both stereotypically feminine and physically powerful. Buffy's feminine fight wear makes the point that one does not cease to be female or feminine when one is strong, aggressive, and even violent, because stereotypical gender markers are inadequate to the complexities of identity. So, I agree with this point because many strong female characters in TV appear to be more masculine than feminine. They are women playing a man's role. We saw this in the Battlestar Galactica clip we watched in class of the masculine feminist character. Valid arguments, Holly. Now, over to Simone. Thank you, Bailey. So what I want to address is the point of what would Jesus do versus what would Buffy do? Is it okay that the vampire slayer is being compared to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? In this article, Shannon Craig O'Snell addresses the fact that WWJD, What Would Jesus Do?, is now being compared to WWBD, What Would Buffy Do?, she uses this example to compare the two groups, Christians versus Buffy the Vampire Slayer fans. She does know that both gr groups take part in weekly rituals, for instance, Christians go to church on Sundays, Buffy the Vampire Slayer fans watch their favorite show every Tuesday night. And although both groups do use religious symbols, such as the cross, they are used very differently. Craig O'Sell does say that the show is culturally Christian. By this she means that even though the show is not technically Christian, it is steeped in ideologies in each episode, symbols, and languages. She goes on to note that Buffy is compared to Christ because she befriends outcasts, gathers a band of followers, sacrifices herself to save the world, wanders the desert, harrows in hell, and is raised from the dead. Although these similarities are easily seen, I much more strongly agree with the second point that she makes in this section. Just because there are similarities between Jesus as a figure and Buffy the Vampire Slayer as a figure does not mean that they are the same. The two questions at the beginning, what would Jesus do versus what would Buffy do, show these very, very differently. 
Jesus would never be seen killing during a moral dilemma, and Buffy, I do not think, should be seen washing the feet of 12 men. Back to you, Bailey. Thank you for listening to us respond to Shannon Craig O'Snell's article, What Would Buffy Do? Feminist Ethics and Epistemic Violence.